Alright guys, so um, All Access, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, episode 2 is going to be released soon and I've looked at the preview, the trailer and I want to discuss what they're going to be focusing on in those episodes. So, episode 2, um, 4 part episodes, or 4 episodes in total I believe, but episode 2 um, is going to concentrate more on the contract negotiations and how the fight never took place in the years before. So. The fight was called for from all boxing fans from about 2008 up until the present day. And episode 2 is going to be focusing on why that fight wasn't made um, previously, so in 2008, 2009, 2010. Um, because in my personal opinion, when Manny Pacquiao beat Ricky Hatton in 2009, that was when the fight should have taken place. So in the months preceding then. And that's when the boxing community from about 2009, 2010 were really calling for the fight. Um, and whilst the fight is still called for, and it's probably going to be the greatest fight, well, not, well I'm not saying it's going to be the greatest fight, but it's between the two greatest boxers presently, in my personal opinion, that are active in boxing today. Um, there's a case of Vladimir Klitschko and um, Andre Ward in terms of their dominance, but in terms of um, bringing in the crowds and their kind of marketability um, and their flair and just overall how people define them as a boxer, um, these are the two best boxers today. Um, the fight is still called for. So episode two is looking at why it never took place before. Um, the contract negotiations, the blood test that Floyd Mayweather demanded, um, Olympic style blood testing or something that he demanded Manny Pacquiao take. Um, and Manny Pacquiao not wanted to take those blood tests because he didn't want to look like he was a cheat and he felt he didn't have to prove he wasn't a cheat um, in terms of taking um, banned substances. Um, and then the fight's going to, uh, the episode two is going to look at how come the fight has finally taken place today. So it's going to look at Floyd Mayweather's six fight deal with, um, I think it's HBO, um, I think he's with, and how they've really pushed for this fight to take place because obviously when he fought Eddie Guerrero, or whatever his name was, the ghost, um, uh, how that fight lacked numbers, um, and so they really want to make a profit because they're paying him a lot of money so they need to see these numbers and obviously the only fight that was really going to make those massive numbers were Manny Pacquiao, possibly Amir Khan um, but it's a bit hit and miss, Amir Khan popular in the UK, is getting popular in America but I don't think he would have seen the numbers that the Manny Pacquiao fight would have made um, obviously it's going to be probably the most lucrative boxing fight in the history of boxing um, it's going to outweigh or outsell Floyd Mayweather against Oscar De La Hoya 2008 or 2006, can't quite remember when that fight took place, but it's going to outsell that. Um, so this is the fight that HBO wanted and it's the fight that the fans wanted. So that's probably, that's how they're going to also concentrate on in this episode is how this fight is now taking place and why. Um, pressure from HBO and pressure from Manny Pacquiao um, as well because Manny Pacquiao wants to be seen as the best fighter out there and he's beating the best out there but the only person that he's got to beat is Floyd Mayweather and vice versa Floyd Mayweather knows that he's going to have Manny Pacquiao always on his back when he retires if he never beats him um, so that's what it's going to concentrate on um, mainly is the, co is the contract details between the two parties um, for me it's a very interesting kind of topic because the fans have demanded this fight for so long yet it hasn't taken place um, and everyone's always like, why is it not taking place? Is someone, is Floyd Mayweather running scared of Manny Pacquiao? Is Manny Pacquiao running scared of Floyd Mayweather? And in the end, it's, neither party's really running scared of each other. I mean, Floyd Mayweather's got more to lose because he's got that O. I think he's 48 and O or something like that. Or 47 and O, round about that. So he's got that O that he wants to protect, whilst Manny Pacquiao has previously lost. Um, so neither party's got much to lose, even though Floyd has got more to lose. So it wasn't because they were scared of each other, because I believe that both those fighters believe that they're, the, they're the best fighters out there. So they believe they can beat each other. It was more the fact that Bob Arum and Floyd Mayweather do not work well together. Um, there's a lot of issues there. They don't want to work together. They can't agree. Um, there's also issues with um, the split of the money was the main one. Both, like I said before, both fighters believe that they are the best out there, and so they both believe they're entitled to... The biggest share, which is what Floyd Mayweather believes, and Manny Pacquiao believes a 50-50 share. Um, in my personal opinion, I think Floyd Mayweather deserves a slightly larger share, purely because he will be bringing in more money. Um, not because he's a better boxer, but I believe that Floyd Mayweather will 
sell this fight a little bit better than Manny Pacquiao would. More people are buying it because it's Floyd Mayweather than Manny Pacquiao. But there's also the argument that Manny Pacquiao is making that people are buying this fight because it's Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. Um, that's why they're buying the fight. Not because it's Floyd Mayweather and not because it's Manny Pacquiao, but it's because it's two of them fighting each other. So that's the argument for that. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to this episode. It's going to be released uh, on Friday or Saturday. Um, so not long to go now. Um, looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. Post comments down below. Why do you think this fight has not taken place previously? And are you happy it's taken place now? Um, do you think Floyd Mayweather should have waited until he was 49 and 0 and taken on this fight to make him a 50 and 0? Do you think it would have sold the fight even more? Or do you think that potentially in a year's time there would be no interest in this fight? So let me know what you guys think. Post comments down below. Um, post who you also think is going to win. My heart is who I want to win is Manny Pacquiao. That's my heart. My head is telling me it's going to be, my head's telling me Floyd Mayweather, purely, if I was a betting man, Floyd Mayweather, um, purely because I think that Manny Pacquiao 2010 was a lot faster than Manny Pacquiao 2015, and I think Floyd Mayweather is kind of perfectly designed to beat Manny Pacquiao. In the sense, Manny Pacquiao's a, a southpaw, Floyd Mayweather I think has like a 50% accuracy against Southpaws, which is astonishingly high, 50%. Um, he dominates Southpaws, I don't know why. I mean, he's very defensively and he's very counter-attacking, which is possibly why. Um, and we know that Manny Pacquiao can get caught in that pocket for too long, like he did against, um, I forgot the guy's name, who knocked him out previously. And now I've forgotten his name, Marquez, um, who knocked him out because he stayed in that pocket too long. But since that fight, we've seen Manny Pacquiao only going in one, two, Punches, back out again. Possibly three punches. Same as Amir Khan. Amir Khan got caught in that pocket for too long against Danny Garcia. Got timed. Got knocked out. Same to Manny Pacquiao. Okay, they become lazy. They become um, very kind of um, arrogant. And they, they think they can stay in the pocket for too long with doing combos. And they get timed. Um, and countered. And knocked out. But Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan as well have both learned from... From that, and they don't stay in the pocket as long as they sh they used to be doing. Um, so it's harder to counter them. Of course, they do stay in the pocket at times, doing three, four, five punch combos, but not all the time. Manny Pacquiao was famous for doing it literally every round, just in that pocket, bam, 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 um, just punching away. And he got, you know, now if you look at Manny Pacquiao in his previous fights against Allegri, um, or before then, um, the fight against the other guy, I forgot the guy's name. Um, Two, three punches maximum, then he's out of the pocket. Um, very rarely did he do any more than that. So it's a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. Post comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I think it's May the 2nd that the fight's taking place, or May the 7th. Um, but it's sometime in then. Should be a good fight. Looking forward to the, uh, the weigh-in. Um, I always look forward to the weigh-ins, but for some reason, Floyd Mayweather weigh-ins is like broadcast live on national TV. Um, and it attracts an audience of like 10,000 people or whatever, um, just to see him in the weigh-in. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't think there'll be any sparks at the weigh-in. Manny Pacquiao's not that kind of guy um, to cause a confrontation at the weigh-in. Floyd Mayweather has in the past caused confrontations at weigh-ins um, with Ricky Hatton. There was a bit of an issue there um, with um, Victor Ortiz, um, Hans, you know, Floyd Mayweather grabbed Victor Ortiz by the throat. So there has been problems at the weigh-in previously with Floyd Mayweather, but I don't think that happened with Manny Pacquiao. Um, he's not that kind of guy. I think he'll just walk away from it. Um, and uh, they don't really need to have any problems at the weigh-in because this fight's going to sell. Sometimes when a fight's not selling, there's confrontation at the weigh-in. Um, Vitaly Klitschko against Derek Chisora. I'm not saying that fight wasn't going to sell because he's, Vitaly Klitschko is massive in Europe. Um, but Derek Chisora... Um, obviously wanted to make more sales in the UK, in my opinion, personally, and that's why he slapped Vitaly Klitschko at the way. Didn't help with, uh, Derek Chisora because he lost the fight, but um, there we go. So post comments down below and uh, let me know what you guys think.